Okay, form shooting. This is the position you should be in after you shoot the ball. Here, let me see a follow through. Okay, see how his elbow is locked? Whenever you're working out at home, you want your elbow locked. You don't want your fingers out here. Tendencies of kids is to shoot the ball like it's a hot potato. They shoot it and take their hand off really quick. And, they, and the balance is off. What you want to concentrate on when you shoot the ball, shoot the ball, this locks, your elbow locks. This helps you troubleshoot your shot because if your arm finished over here, your ball probably went over that direction. But if you finish here every day, your ball has to go straight. There's a lot of little teaching tidbits as far as putting your fingers down. Whatever you need to do to make sure you follow through and your elbow lock is what you need to do. This is how you should practice this. You put the ball in one hand. He's going to start over here. He's actually going to shoot the ball. He's in one hand. This angle does not change. The space between the ball and his shoulder is not going to change. So he's not going to do this. This is a throw. He turned that L into a V. See that V? Okay, all he's going to do is use his legs to push the ball up over the rim and hold his pose. This is what you do all day till you get the, the muscle memory built up necessary to do it in a game. Okay, here's some easy drills that you can do at home. Here's what we call a line drill for shooting, form shooting. You do not need a bat, you, you only need a basketball to train. Here, he's gonna shoot the ball. If you line up with your right foot on this line and you go to triple threat position, remember the shooting pocket we talked about? If you shoot the ball straight up in the air, the ball should hit the line or come within a circumference of the rim. Therefore, you know you're gonna be straight. Okay, and he's gonna do a couple of those and he's gonna hold his pose after he shoots. Shoot. See, the ball hit the line. This is how you can work on it at home. Shoot up so it land right here. Not way up there. Okay, another drill. Drill that, we done, that I did with my kids, right here. He's gonna lay down on the floor. You can do this at home, laying out by the pool, Basically, he's in triple threat position on the floor. His right elbow is tucked. This elbow is out holding the ball. The ball is out of his palm. You have a little mouth here. And what you do is stand over him. And we used to play a game. We would shoot it up, and he knows what a perfect form should look like because he has to hold it. So he's going to shoot it up to me. Perfect form. And he would judge. We would play a game. How many points? Everyone bad, I get a point. Everyone good, he gets a point. Shoot it up, and he snap it up to me, and you should snap your wrist down, and it locks. Now, when you get really good at it, you can shoot it up to yourself, and it should come straight down to you. This is things that you can do at home. Okay, now, the way you troubleshoot how you're shooting the ball, if the ball goes up and goes this way and knocks over your mother's vase, Guess what? The ball rolled off the back of your fingers. If the ball goes too far this way, that means you pushed it too hard. To the right, that means your arm went that way. To the left, this way. It's easy to troubleshoot it that way as well. Now, here are some teaching tidbits for shooting. First of all, when you're starting with beginners, you always want to start them in the block area. And what he's going to do right now, everyone knows what you aim for. You aim for the corner. This is a great drill to do for beginners because they can go side to side and they actually have a mark, the block, to shoot from. What he's going to do is go side to side by himself and shoot. Ready? Go. And he's going to use his left hand over there. He's a little bit more advanced. He can use his left hand over there. But for the beginners, oh my God. <laughs> well, for the beginners, definitely want to use whatever tools you have, two hands pushing it from your chest, whatever, so you can get the feel of pushing the ball to that spot.